Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another exciting episode of PC Me. In today's episode, we will talk about the hazards of static electricity. So let's get started. One of the major natural phenomena of static electricity is lightning or thunderbolt. Now, first you need to understand how the thunderbolt or the lightnings are produced. And then we will talk about what are the dangers of it and how we can prevent them. In the atmosphere, when the clouds are formed of water vapors and dust particles, the wind which is blowing at high altitude causes the friction between the dust particles and make them charge. So what happens is that the water molecules and dust particles in the clouds become charged. Now when two oppositely charged clouds come close to each other, the positive and negative charges basically release that energy in the form of lightning, which we know as the thunderbolt. Now, sometimes those lightning and thunderbolts reach the earth, which are carrying thousands of joules of energy. When that energy reaches the earth, it can cause some serious damage to the living beings, humans, animals, and even the building. Now, skyscrapers and tall buildings are one of the major target of those lightning because they get attracted toward them easily. Now, how we can prevent them and prevent some serious accidents to happening? This is what we will discuss. Let's take a look at an example of the world's tallest building, Burj Khalifa, which is in Dubai. I hope all of you are familiar with it. Basically, Burj Khalifa is like a giant lightning attractive tower. Due to its height, every time when there is a storm, any lightning which is caused get attracted towards it. Now, if there are not proper precautions taken, those lightnings when they hit the building can cause some serious damage, can cause fire, short circuits, and even which result in casualty. Now, to prevent it, giant spikes or the steel rods are installed at the top of the building, which attracts those lightning towards them. So how would they get attracted? For example, let's just say when a cloud comes in on top or near to the... In case of a thunderstorm, it's highly likely that the lightning will hit the Burj Khalifa built tower. So how it happens and how we can prevent it? Let's just say a cloud with a positive charge on it comes close to the tower. There is a mechanism installed in the tower at the top of it which induces negative charge on it. Now we know that opposite charges attract each other. So what will happen is the lightning will strike that spike and after heat striking that spike that spike is insulated from the building and takes the lightning or the energy which is brought by the lightning directly to the earth. And in this way, the building will be saved and the current will directly reach the earth without damaging the building. That's why at the rooftop of tall buildings and skyscrapers, those metal strips are installed, which attracts the lightning bolt and prevents the building from getting serious damage. Now let's move to another example. Fueling a jet or an aeroplane can also be very dangerous in terms of static electricity. During the process of fueling, the fuel is injected through the rubber pipes into the fuse lodge of the plane. During the process of fueling, when the fuel is injected into the fuse lodge of the plane, due to the friction between the rubber pipe and the fuel, the charges develop on the body of the pipe. Now, if that comes in contact with the opposite charge, that can create a spark. Now, that spark can cause fire, which can result into a very huge accident because the fuel is highly flammable. So, to prevent that, what they do is that they connect the body of the plane with a wire and earth it. So, if there is any charge which is developed on the body of the plane during the process of fueling, it can earth itself and it can prevent it any kind of accident. Same is done when an oil tanker comes to fuel in a petrol station. So the same process is done where an earth wire is connected between the tank and the oil tanker during the process of refilling so that no charge should be developed. 
if those precautions are not taken then that sparks can be created like the operator when it comes to you know remove the nozzle it can cause a spark which can cause some serious accident and now the last example have you ever noticed that there is a chain, metallic chain hanging from the oil tankers at the rear end there is a reason for that now oil tankers as you know their main purpose is to take the fuel from one place to another place as the oil tanker transports the oil from one place to another place during its journey the air brushes against the body of the oil tanker now due to that friction the charge is developed on the metallic body of the tanker now since the tires are made up of rubber which is an insulator so there is no chance and way for that charge which is developed on the body to earth itself so the main purpose for that metallic chain to hang is basically to leak the charge which is developed at any point during the journey so it can prevent some serious damage another example are aeroplanes now during their flight when they are moving at a very high velocity through the air through the dust particles the body gets charged now the moment they hit the ground that charge need to be earned and for that purpose the tires or the landing gears of the plane are made up of conducting material although it's a rubber but it's a conducting rubber so any charge which is developed can earth itself the moment that the plane touches the ground otherwise it can be very dangerous also another safety measure is the spikes which are at the wings of the plane they work as a drainage and any charge which is developed during the flight can drain itself through the those spikes and prevent some serious damage. That's it for today guys. I hope you understood and liked the video.